As we look forward over five years, we expect that 80% of the world's mobile connections will be 4G or 5G. We know that 5G will be the central feature of the next phase of global economic development. 5G will automate our factories, connect our cities and transport, and provide innovative health care and education. And of course, spectrum access is a key starting point for any mobile network. And each new generation comes with its own spectrum needs. We recognize that today's spectrum assets won't be enough to meet this demand, and we need to look forward at how we can ensure sufficient capacity for both urban and rural areas to realize the promise of 5G. We cannot bridge the world's digital divide unless we use our resources as efficiently as possible. Our latest economic forecast from GSMA Intelligence, if we ensure that spectrum constraints are taken away, 5G can bring 961 billion to the global GDP in 2030. So this economic growth will be driven by three crucial natural resources, low, mid, and high band. These three ranges form central pillars of our economic development as the world seeks to recover from this uncertainty of past years. Mid-band is the muscle behind high-capacity city-wide 5G. 5G can impact global GDP in 2030 by 961 billion, but it needs a spectrum. One analysis that we did is the constraint scenario that you can see on the screen. And if spectrum allocations are maintained in the levels of that they are today, in mid-band, what happens is that up to 40% of this potential growth is lost. Mid-band will impact each region as a percentage of GDP. And it's interesting to see that it isn't picking winners or losers. Across the board, whether a country is highly industrialized, it's a developing country, we see the growth opportunity from mid-band 5G. That's what we need to think about today, how to create affordable connectivity so that we lower the usage gap bring 5G to more users, and ensure that we conquer the digital divide. When we talk about mobile technology, we are talking about something that is encompassing the whole society, people, governments, and industry. So we need, of course, coverage, not only in urban areas, but also in rural areas. And we need affordability. It doesn't help if we have coverage, if people cannot afford the service. But there are the other two that are soft aspects that are as important as the first two, which are the digital skills. That means people need to know how to use this technology. And of course, the content and the services they have access to should be interesting for them, should be relevant for them. Using a globally harmonized frequency bands lowers the price of the services. Spectrum is our raw material. It's the enabler to more connectivity, to growth, to value creation. Universal access is the cornerstone of what we are trying to achieve as a regulator. On the back of a spectrum licensing process, we have earmarked tangible proof points for social benefit and social use. We need a variety, a mixture of spectrum being made available. Uh, for instance, we need further mid-band, like uh, 6 gigahertz, and we also need more low band. And taking the 6 gigahertz, for instance, we think that that is, has been mentioned here, a natural expansion band. When allocating, when running auctions, we benefit, I think, as an industry to have uh, frequent consultations, and then also to have as transparent auctions as possible. Uh, Six billion people are now connected across the planet to we now have over 8 billion subscriptions. That's a remarkable achievement. And that's thanks to the people in this room, uh, the regulators setting the policy direction, but in a technology neutral way and letting the market decide what's the best solution for each of the demand and use cases. We are committed to contributing Chinese effort and the solution to the improvement of 5G and the future ecosystems under the guidelines of the ITU framework. We would like to work with regulatory authorities and the industry worldwide to promote the global harmonization of additional spectrum for IMT and to further strengthen its key role in the development of the global digital economy. For us in South Africa, we view Spectrum as the lifeblood of the current and future economic growth.